up bright and early this morning although definitely not bright but definitely early the sun is still yet to rise but i'm not gonna lie to you i don't even think it's really gonna rise this morning i think it's gonna be one of those days where we are just living in pretty much permanent darkness because the weather today this is the most british way to start a vlog but my goodness me the rain is hammering down outside it actually feels like we've got another storm which i'm really surprised that we haven't had any weather warnings about this because the wind is whipping up the rain is pouring down and it feels like such a like stormy wintry day which is a perfect day to head into london apparently <laughs> I feel like I keep choosing the worst days to go into London at the moment, but I am heading into London again today and I'm actually really looking forward to today because I have a couple of really, really fun events that are going to be just perfect to kick off the festive season. I think they're going to be really, really fun. So I'm looking a little bit glam this morning because I'm always loving going a little bit glam whenever I have my London days. I'm doing another slick back bun because... When the wind whips up and the rain is tipping down, a slick back bun is just the only way to go. But you may have noticed that I'm wearing my gorgeous little Cezanne earrings. I thought, you know what, if I'm going to do a slick back bun, we're going to have some fun with it. And I'm going to do something really, really cool with regards to my jewellery. So you would have seen these in my latest Cezanne haul, which I uploaded in between Black Friday and Vlogmas. If you haven't caught up with those videos, I was still like doing my normal upload schedule last week. Um, so loving these. They're like this gorgeous little kind of like gold hoop and they have this little like plastic flower now they're not actually that heavy which is what i really like about them because i'm not the kind of person that can keep heavy earrings in all day like i get really irritated by them um whereas these ones i've actually worn for quite a few hours before and i've not been irritated by them so i really really love these um and then i've just paired them with this gorgeous necklace this is a little pandora number and i love it because it's like half chain and half pearls i feel like it looks really really different and goes so perfectly with the dress that I am wearing today, this gorgeous little phase eight number. It's like a very asymmetric style. So I feel like the asymmetric neckline of the dress goes really, really well with the asymmetric design of the necklace. I think just, we're pulling it all together. We are bringing it all in together. And in terms of my lipstick that I'm wearing today, oh my goodness me, I've been so, so obsessed. And I've shown you my Lily and Bean vanity case so, so much. But I do just love this case. I feel like it's just the best makeup bag in the world, but, I am so obsessed with the Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Shines at the moment. I literally have three here that I flipped between because they are so perfect on a day like a London day when I know that I'm going to be eating a lot, I'm going to be drinking a lot. Like my first meeting is literally a breakfast meeting, which is why I'm up so dark and early this morning. Um, so I know I'm going to be eating, I'm going to be drinking, I'm going to be chatting. And normally my lipsticks all come off, whereas... These Laura Mercier ones are so, so fab. So today I am wearing 121 Bliss, which I really, really like. It's more of like a raspberry pink, I think is the best way to describe it. And I feel like it just looks so beautiful. Doesn't feel like lipstick, which is what I really like about it. But the trick to applying these, they are quite like thick and heavy. So the best way to apply them is to just kind of dab on your lips and just do that. And I find it just gives you the most beautiful colour payoff. It's almost like more of a lip stain than a lipstick, which is what I really, really like about them. Because they don't feel like lipsticks, but the colour lasts all day. So, wearing that today, loving the hair, loving the makeup. You may be able to see, actually, behind me. I have something to unbox with you guys that I'm really, really excited about today. Let's come and sit over here, actually, to unbox it. Because... I am wanting to wear these today. I'm wanting to style them up and I thought today was the perfect day to unbox my new babies. Now, if you've been around for a while, this brand will be no surprise to you. You know how much I adore duo boots. In fact, this year in kind of springtime, it was around like April and I feel like it kind of got lost in the engagement announcement because it was around the same time that Alex and I got engaged. I was actually the face of duo boots. I was their latest duo woman and it was such a fun shoot that I did in London with them. I started up loads of like their boots, some of my favourite pairs and I was on their website and it was such a moment for me and it was a really proud moment especially because duo boots were a brand that I have raved about for years because I'm a big calf girl and I really struggle to find shoes that actually fit me. Even if I go for like the sport mode of a lot of like knee high boots, they are so tight on me, so restrictive, and I just don't find them comfortable. And when I discovered Jura boots, they have literally changed my life to the point that pretty much, pretty much all of my knee high boots now 
our duo boots i almost exclusively wear them because they are just so comfortable they have so many gorgeous designs and they are literally made to measure this is a brand that i feel like has done made to measure in such a different way they've made it accessible and they've made it something that's not like for the elite do you know what i mean that is something that you're able to I feel like this is very bright with this um light beside me um but they made it into something that's like so much more accessible and so it just makes it really really exciting to be able to do so what they have actually is on their website they have hundreds of sizes stocked and all you need to do is actually measure your calf and i know that sounds really weird and it took me a while to be like really i'm gonna measure my calf measure your calf and your size will be on there a lot of people ask me what my size is and i feel like it's probably a bit obsolete just because number one my calves are big but they never actually look big like whenever i tell people that i have big calves they're like no you don't i'm like trust me i do um so i believe i'm like a 41 i think my exact measurement was like 40 um centimeters um but they go up in increments of two they're like odd numbers um so i believe i'm a 41 but that shouldn't make too much of a difference to you it's just about measuring your calf and then seeing what one you'd rather for i mean you could literally go up a couple of sizes if you want to make it look really like loose and like you've got like little tiny legs in there um or if you wanted to you could have it like perfectly to measure they do stretch they all have like a little bit of kind of like stretchability in them so i would just say go for like your usual size is like the best of practice um but this pair i have been on the hunt for a pair this color for such a long time that i'll be able to wear in and around london because whenever i'm in london i will always opt for a pair of flat boots because i have just realized i'm not wearing my engagement ring <gasps> my goodness me as if i've been like talking about jewelry all day honestly i do that sometimes i always kind of assume i'm wearing it um but i often take it off if i'm like moisturizing whenever i do my skincare in the morning because i don't ever want to like tarnish the metal um and i feel like if i'm applying like vitamin c or like active ingredients i was really worried about wearing it and it suddenly just occurred to me that i wasn't because i often do this and kind of fiddle with it um suddenly just occurred to me i wasn't wearing it as if i was even talking about my engagement earlier with regards to being a duo woman and i wasn't even wearing my ring but here she is she's back so back to the boots <laughs> this has been the longest explanation in the entire world about these boots but basically i've been looking for a pair this color in a flat variation for such a long time because this has been missing from my wardrobe this has been something that i've really felt like is a gap and you know what i say when it comes to adding pieces into your wardrobe you are either replacing upgrading or filling a gap and this was a definite gap that was in my wardrobe so let's unbox these because i am so so excited and duo honestly just have the most beautiful packaging i feel like this is coming up really like muddy but in actual fact it's like a beautiful kind of golden brown color so i'm hoping the actual boots aren't going to come up as a weird color on the camera because online these look so <gasps> so stunning oh my gosh these are Oh my goodness me, look at how stunning these are. Now, I can't remember the name of them, but I will leave these linked down below. But oh my goodness, so these are a gorgeous pair of like chocolate brown flat knee-high boots. Now you can see there, just like how big my calf is with regards to the size that I have to go to, honestly. This is why I need duo boots, because they do have like such a curve. And for me, I do have very sporty calves. It's just something that I have naturally. And also because I do like a lot of running, a lot of cycling, I feel like it just emphasizes that. So I really need that like curve in the boot. Um, but oh my goodness, these are just so beautiful. I absolutely love the fact that they have almost like no detailing, no design to them. They are just so so gorgeous the fact that they are just a perfect pair of flats like they've got that tiny little heel just to give you that like comfort with regards to elevation but these are going to be so comfortable to wear around london all day and this is exactly what i have been looking for because i have a gorgeous pair of tan heeled boots that i got from duo boots maybe like three four years ago that i've had in my wardrobe for such a long time but if i know i'm gonna have a busy london day i always want to wear a pair of flats and especially i feel like when it's raining you do not want to be running around with like heeled boots on because that is just a recipe for disaster. So a gorgeous new pair of boots to style up. My goodness me, I am so, so excited to wear these today. Baby's first outing, you know what I'm like? As soon as I unbox something, I'm like, I'm ready to wear it right now. But such a beautiful pair of boots to add into my collection. I thought actually I would just come in and show you my boot storage for the rest of the pairs that I have because I always get asked about my kind of like boot collection and whenever people know that I've got a couple of pairs they always ask me which ones I have in my collection and also storage wise how I kind of store them. So I personally use one of the Billy bookcases from Ikea and I've just like taken out a few of the shelves. Now I have very small feet, I'm only like a UK size 4 so they do fit perfectly for me but if you do have longer feet 
it's not going to quite fit. So in terms of like shoe storage, I'm not entirely sure what would be the best option if you do have larger feet. Um, but basically I just keep a couple of pairs of my kind of knee high boots. These are Suzanne, these are Bobby's. So I keep those ones there and then the rest of them are all my knee high duo boots, which I keep here. I just keep them beside my air conditioning unit, which we've just kind of taken away for summer and this is also where my rail lives whenever I am not using it just in case you're wondering um but I have so many gorgeous pairs here like this pair is one of my absolute favorites I got these ones as a part of the um collaboration that I did with them when I was the face and they are so beautiful they're like leather at the bottom but then kind of suede at the side and around the top which makes them super comfy you can see here this is where the kind of like stretchiness comes in so they do have the ability to stretch even if you are worried about like getting a size that's maybe not quite right they do have the ability to stretch which is really really nice and I love these ones because they have such a lovely heel to them like it's a little bit of a heel a little bit of elevation but not too much so I love those this is a pair that are probably my favorite but actually probably my least worn because these are the most beautiful stiletto heels ever I wore these when I went into Winchester the other day um and I'm not gonna lie to you I was struggling a little bit on the cobbles they're probably not the best idea to have worn into such an old city like Winchester but I love these again you can see where the extra stretchiness comes in um, and you can see just how big they are in terms of the calf but I love these I feel like these are just such like powerful boots they are absolutely gorgeous they're a favorite favorite pair of mine these are two I've had in my collection for a really really long time these are the ones I usually wear into London they are the same as the ones that I've just bought um but the black version um so that's when you know I like something if I like it, I'll just get it in another colour. The shelf just about fits. I need to kind of like squeeze these two in together. Um, and then this is like a heeled version. So this is really similar to this one here, but all leather. But I really love these heels. Again, they're super comfortable. They're like a really nice bit of elevation, a nice bit of height. If I'm doing something that's more of like an evening activity in London, these are the kind of things that I would wear because they are just so, so beautiful. And then down here, I've got my two brown ones. So these are the tan ones that I was telling you about before that have the heel, which I really, really love. But as I said, they're not the comfiest thing to wear in London when I'm running about the city. And then these are like my proper countryside boots. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're like a gorgeous chocolate brown with this suede detail and they're always just absolutely covered in mud look at that honestly it's dreadful but it just goes to show how much I use and how much I love them so you can really tell I love the brand because honestly it's all I ever want to wear mainly because they're the only thing that fit me but also because they are so so beautiful and it just means I don't feel like bad for not wearing like boots that are not made to measure do you know what I mean like I feel special I still feel like these are beautiful elegant timeless boots and the fact that they fit perfectly is just such an added bonus so in terms of styling the boots we're going to be going all tan accessories today I am taking my laptop into London today with me because vlogmas means a lot of editing um but also the way that the timings work out is I'm actually going to be able to get the train home with Alex so I'll just be sitting around waiting for maybe like an hour or so so I can just grab my laptop out get on with some work and then we're going to have a train date home tonight which is going to be so so cute um so they pair so beautifully with my little mulberry basil water they're a slightly darker ever so slightly darker tan but I feel like especially when one's on your foot and one's on your um, arm, you don't really notice it. So I feel like they're going to just get so, so perfect together, like a real chocolate combination. One thing I will say as well with regards to these boots, I've got to say with the other ones, is that one thing I would always recommend is investing in just some little um, shoe horns. You do not need to spend a lot of money. I literally get off mine off Amazon. They are literally these like little bits of kind of plastic that you like bend to create. Let me go get them. So they look like this. It's literally just like a sheet of plastic. They come flat and you just bend them round to like a bit more of a shoe shape. And then they slot into the boot perfectly. And it means that it keeps the boots like size and style means that they don't bend over the leather doesn't kind of like crease when you have them in storage especially if you're you know like not going to be wearing boots for a, a long period of time like throughout summer I'll always make sure that they are all slotted in and it keeps them really nice and firm and it just means that you look after your boots because I always say when it comes to items in your wardrobe half of the investment is actually how you look after them and how you kind of like maintain the pieces in your wardrobe um, but I'm so in love with how these look I just think they are so so gorgeous really elegant and timeless and I'm such a big believer that like flat boots can be elegant as well as heeled boots and I feel like it's because of this kind of like almond toe that they do um especially with this like ridge on the sole I just think they are so so beautiful so uh, let's get styling and I can get ready to head into London oh my goodness me how stunning 
do these look? Let me lift up the dress a little bit so you can really get like an idea of the boot. Now one thing as well I forgot to say, duo boots also actually do petite boots. It's something I personally don't find that I need, mainly because my legs are not actually the most kind of like shortest part of me. Um, so I'm fine just going for like the regular length you can see, or did I get the petite in these? Leave a link down below. Maybe I did get them in petite because look, they don't come up as high as some of my other boots. Maybe I did get them in petite. I feel like most of my other boots aren't though. So it's one of those where it's definitely something to consider if you are a shorter girl. Um, it's such a great thing that they do because it means that the boots can fit so, so perfectly and you don't have that like fear of them hitting into your knee. I know I say it a lot, but like particularly in my petite girl guides, I tell you that boots are not flattering when they hit onto your knee. Not only is it uncomfortable, but it just looks a bit odd. And I'm not someone that likes over the knee boots. For me, they very much have to sit underneath my knee. So I will leave these linked down below um, and I'll leave a little note whether these are the petite or the regular length. I'll double check my order um, but I just love how they look underneath dresses I feel like knee-high boots and long line dresses are just so flattering they really help to like elongate your body and as a petite girl I'm all about that elongation um, so I absolutely love these I think they are so so beautiful and the color is just exactly what I've been looking for um, I also get questions a lot about what I wear underneath my boots whether it's like tights stockings personally I just wear like long ankle socks don't like stockings with boots because I don't like the feeling of my foot slipping about in them and I find stockings are so slippery as are like tights and things so I'll just always wear like normal socks I mean it's one of those where no one's going to know what you're wearing underneath so literally wear your fluffiest socks if you wanted to wear your walking socks whatever makes you the most comfortable um, but yeah I absolutely love them right I'm going to do a quick spritz of perfume I think I'm going to wear pomegranate noir today because I do absolutely love that and I feel like it's one of the most long lasting Jo Malone perfumes so quick spritz of perfume and then we can get dressed and I'll show you my full outfit of the day. Oh, we are having a real chocolate moment today. I mean is this not just giving chocolate vibes? I feel like especially because we've got the cream, the black and the brown it's almost giving me like a caramel, like caramel shortbread kind of vibe. I absolutely love it. So, so gorgeous. The bag and the boots pair beautifully together. As I said, as soon as you've kind of separated them, that slight variation as colour is so not noticeable. They look like they match so, so perfectly, which I really, really love. Um, and I love my Bayswater for London days. It's like the perfect commuter bag. I always feel like I blend with the rest of the commuters whenever I have this bag and it fits my laptop perfectly. And of course... I've got my handbag angels handbag organizer in there. If you didn't watch my Black Friday videos, you might not know what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, the perfect handbag organizer in the world. I've got the green one in here, and I love it because it just gives the bag so much more like structure and really helps me to organize my bag. It's got like little pockets in it. It doesn't stop my laptop from fitting, um, but it just also protects the bag on the inside. Because I don't know about you, but the amount of times I get like crumbs or like weird things falling at the bottom of my bag, and it just means that. They fall into the organizer, not into my actual handbag. So a very spenny handbag is protected. So really, really love that. And then coat-wise, I'm wearing my favorite Ivy Oak coat. Now this isn't available anymore. And every time I feature it, I always get so many questions. So what I will do is I've found quite a few different variations, quite a few kind of alternatives to this coat, in like gorgeous dark chocolate brown colors at a very like real variation of price. So I will leave them linked down below if you want something more high street, if you want something more high end, I will leave a few options linked down below because I do love a chocolate brown coat. I feel like if you're not a black girl, this is just like so you. Brown is like a lot more flattering than black sometimes, but also I love being able to pair black and brown together. I think they just work so, so well. Um, if you're the kind of girl that you don't really like wearing black that much, brown is such a great color to really make sure that you are keeping that kind of like formality and that like elegance, yet it's not as like harsh as like a full black coat. So I really, really love this. It's just something a little bit different. Keeps me really nice and a cozy warm and looks so elegant with long line dresses and knee high boots. So that is my full outfit of the day. I need to go and run and catch my train out before getting late into London, ready for my first breakfast meeting of the day. I am so, so looking forward to it. I think it's just gonna be such a fun day in London. to noisy, noisy London now. And we actually have some blue skies behind me. I don't know if the camera is gonna focus on it, but would you look at that? 
the sun is actually coming out a little bit in London, which is very, very exciting. I haven't been to put my umbrella up. I just have the loveliest taxi driver's channel away to me as we were crossing the bridge, which is having the most beautiful view. And I have just arrived to one of my favorite places I have not been to for such a long time. Somerset House, which used to be quite a regular stop for me, especially like around Christmas time, when they have the ice rink, I would come to Somerset House quite a lot, and I would always try and get a photo in front of the Christmas tree. So it feels quite nostalgic to be back here, but I'm actually gonna be heading to the Spring Restaurant, which is somewhere I've never been before. I think it's quite new, it's in like the new wing of Somerset House, for a lovely breakfast with Duff Mark, which is one of my favorite skincare products. I absolutely love them. I feel like if ever my skin is like having a bit of a freak out, if ever I'm having like a bit of a moment, Dark Farm products always just bring it back to what I want it to be. Give me my glow back, give that like calm, lovely skin back. So I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be a bit of a masterclass for some of their new gifting products for Christmas. So I'm really, really excited to see what we are gonna be seeing today in the masterclass, what we're gonna be trying out, all the new gifting ready for Christmas. So let's head inside. There is nothing I love more than a pretty toilet. I mean, look at this. How cute! Oh, Somerset House is just so, so beautiful. It's such a gorgeous little, like, festive spot as well. Um, and they've decorated it so beautifully. The little dark fan room looks absolutely amazing. So we're gonna be starting the mask class in just a minute. And I'm so excited to be introduced maybe to some new products, see what the Christmas gifting is. And it's always so lovely just to catch up with so many girls, have a lovely breakfast, have a coffee. It's been so, so lovely so far. So we're going to talk through some of the products, give you a bit of a brand background, but then we're also going to do some skincare, which is the best part, right? Um, so we're going to do some self-application. So just to talk you through Darfan, how many of you guys have heard about the brand before? Oh yes, okay, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to purchase too much then, that's fine. Um, so Darfan started in 1958, so we are a heritage brand. It's a French brand, obviously started by Pierre Darfan. And at the time, in 1958, he was really, really visionary, very, very forward in terms of his thinking on skincare. He took a very, very holistic approach to skincare, very much inspired by his mom. He, he lived with his mom in, in near the Alps in um, Aksama, which was a beautiful small town. His mom was a hairdresser, surrounded by women his whole life, as I am, because I'm lucky enough to be. So <laughs> it's the best place to be, basically. So he was very much inspired by women, inspired by beauty. But if you do any sort of research into him, you will see we had our first institute in Paris in 1958 um, where he did treatments, but he also did prescriptions. So basically, it was almost like a very prescription like approach to skincare, very science based, but also then inspired by botanicals as well. So he combined that perfect kind of botanical intelligence and scientific precision to really deliver high performance products. And that was in 58. So you can imagine. The revolution that we've had over the last couple of years with Darfan as well. So at the moment we've got an amazing laboratory in France. There's eight amazing women, purely female a team, that actually develop all of our products. So all of our products are designed in Paris. Uh, yeah, which is pretty cool, right? Um, and then we source ingredients globally from all over the world, but obviously at the highest quality to make sure that the products deliver amazing results. So the great thing about Darfan is I think it combines you know, the actives that we see, the retinols, the vitamin Cs, all the actives that we see in skincare that are really on trend at the moment with beautiful plant-based uh, kind of formulas that really deliver comfort, luxury, and performance. So I think it's a really nice juxtaposition of those three kind of tenets that really give an amazing brand. So to just talk to you guys, we're going to go through uh, the class of lean um, routine today, I suppose, and class of Lean is a new franchise to us, um, very much focused on barrier support. 
and you guys, intellectuals that you are, will know that <laughs> a, a strong barrier is really important for the skin to retain moisture, for the skin to look luminous, but also for the skin to accept any actives. If your barrier is compromised, use actives on the skin, it's going to cause irritation and inflammation within the skin, which we do not want. So, I'm just going to talk you briefly through the offering for the holiday season. You guys are all going to be gifted a beautiful classic like, meat set, which is, has got a little taster, a little taster of some of the amazing products that we have at Dark Farm. And then the routine we're going to do today, we're going to do a comprehensive routine, but we're going to give you some ideas about some of the other franchises that we have as well. So you'll have a look there, a beautiful picture, there you see like four different franchises. So I'll start at the bottom right. So we have a lot of franchises at Dark Farm because we really believe in a very prescriptive approach to skincare. So we've got Hydra Skin. Um, so Hydra Skin is very much about hydration, nourishment, and adding glow. So really good for somebody who maybe wants is starting off in skincare or just has dehydration issues, which unfortunately I'm past that point, but you know, we, we move. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the star of the show. So you see that pink serum at the top there? That's Intral. So Intral was the first serum Sorry, Mrs. Esther Lauder, <laughs> in the industry. Um, so we reformulated it obviously since it came out, but if you ever feel the texture of Intral, Intral is a water serum, so it's almost like a, an original essence. Um, so chamomile, peony, hawthorn to really hydrate and nourish the skin. We're gonna use the soothing cream from that range and we should do our skincare application. Then we have the Osea Clossidine, all about barrier support and radiance. And then the silver down the bottom is our Stimul Skin Plus. Now Stimul Skin at Dark Fan is probably the pinnacle of the Dark Fan crown. It's formulated with sea emerald, which helps to stimulate collagen production. Um, so it's very much about re-energizing the skin, repairing the skin, giving that radiance, that glow, that nourishment, the barrier support, but also to stimulate the skin's natural youth proteins, which are your, you know, the fiber and actin, your collagen, and your elastin. Nobody really talks about fiber and actin in the industry, right? It's what we focus on as well. So, that's just you to run down the Christmas offering. you'll see these little pearls. Mm. So it's a bi-phase serum. So, so you've got your water phase and then you have your oil phase. So within those two, you have a triple flower complex, which is purple loose strife, daffodil bulb, and able weiss. Mm. What they do is they stimulate the skin to, well, kind of help repair the skin's ceramides, basically. The mortar between the blood and the cells. That help to keep the barriers intact. You also have acetyl hexapeptide 8 or argyrolene peptide, <laughs> which has come up like been so popular for the last little while. I've seen it everywhere. But basically, what that does is it helps your skin stimulate its own collagen production. So it works in those two ways. You've got the barrier repair element, but you also have the age prevention and age repair element in the product as well. So you're going to take about this is a brand new one, three pumps. And we're gonna apply on the face. Just how's that feel? Good. The lovely thing about this is it really increases the skin's natural radiance. And you know, as we go through life, you know, when we're younger, we've got this amazing, really kind of light reflective stratum cornea where skin reflects light really beautifully on our dermis and looking at thick, got loads of collagen. Then as we go through life, that actually switches around. The stratum cornea thickens and it reduces the skin's ability to reflect light and then your dermis thins. So we start to see signs of aging on the skin, fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness. So what this will do is instantly gives the ability of light reflection to the skin, but over time as your barrier becomes more supported, your skin is gonna reflect light better, look more multi-dimensional. And from a makeup point of view, it saves money on my leather, so like, <laughs> I'm here for You'll see the, there's 24 karat gold in here. But this is a beautiful, it's an eight flower blend, so you've got like so many beautiful um, flowers.
my goodness me, I am feeling so zen after that masterclass, discovering all of the new products, all of the Christmas range has just been at the loveliest start to the day. My skin is now glowing, we've been using so many of the products and it's been so interesting hearing about like the technique to apply your skincare. It's not just about like slapping it on your face and hoping for the best, but like really massaging it in, using the right techniques, using your hands. Like he was literally teaching us how you can almost use your hand almost like a gua sha. It's absolutely insane like the way that you can kind of like sculpt your face and he says it makes it so such a big difference but it was a really really lovely class and such a lovely group of ladies as well i always love it when the classes are like a little bit more intimate and you can just really get to know each other ask questions try out the products such a lovely start to the day so i'm going to head over to the body shop now sorry it's a little bit windy so hopefully you can hear me but i'm going to head over to the body shop now for a little lunch and gifting suite which i'm really really excited about more christmas products to discover more christmas gifting to get excited about so let's get going Oh my goodness, the ice skating rink is out at Somerset House. Look at this. The tree is always so, so magical. And can you believe we were tipping with rain this morning? Look at the weather now. Oh, this is such a like perfect day in London. I love days like today. They just make me feel so festive and so Christmassy. Oh my goodness. Right, I need to head to the body shop now. Let's go. I'm not going to lie to you. I forgot how beautiful London is. Just walk around in the sunshine. So I've actually decided to walk to the next event, which means I'm looking ever so slightly windswept, but it's fine problem it's been so so lovely you can see how chilly it is though by my little red nose my nose always gives away how cold it is but London in the sunshine especially at Christmas time nothing beats it but I've just arrived at the body shop now so I'm gonna head in just left the body shop now with what can only be described as a bag that is as big as I am. My goodness me, have they been so generous with their gifting. Honestly, I have such an achy shoulder by the end of today because this has so many goodies in and I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to unbox them in this video because I know as soon as I get home from London tonight, I'm going to be pooped. So I think I will wait and do a big unboxing in Vlogmas Day 4. I'll unbox them tomorrow for you guys because they have so many gorgeous bits for Christmas. I am so excited with regards to the body shop Christmas gifting they always do amazing gifts for Christmas like they are such a good thing to look into they always do amazing things for Christmas like they're such gorgeous gifting I love the gift packaging and the products that they do and obviously it's all really like sustainably sourced sustainably made so it's really really lovely to know that you're like giving to a good cause because they support so many charities which they were really really celebrating today we even did like a little bit of a candle painting or workshop which was so much fun so we had lots of drinks lots of good food and so many lovely ladies that I got to meet today so it was a really really fun event um, but I don't know if you can see it's actually starting to get quite dark now and I have a feeling that the Oxford Christmas lights are going to be looking very, very magical. And I actually haven't seen the Christmas lights yet this year. I don't think they're any different from the years before, but I do love the London Christmas lights. I feel like this time of year is just the most magical time of year to come to London. It's just the perfect opportunity when it's like the sun is just starting to set, dusk is kind of settling in, and the lights get switched on. It is just absolutely magical. So I think what I'm going to do is head into central London, head towards Oxford Street, and we can have a little bit of like a London Christmas light tour, because I'm sure you guys are excited to see them as well. It really is just the best time of year, and the Christmas lights in London are just magical. So let's go head in and see the beautiful rest of lights. The Oxford Street Christmas lights are officially off and looking magical, if I do say so myself. This camera always ends up auto adjusting the lighting, so it always makes it look brighter than it is. But it's currently dusk, the sun has just started setting, and it looks so, so magical in central London. Let me show you the lights. Oh, I just love it when it's like this, because they're just lit up so beautifully, and you can just see that kind of like dusk sky behind you. 
Oh, it's just so magical, I must admit. The stars are some of my favorite Christmas lights in central London. I just feel like they have such an amazing effect. And especially when it's dark, they just look magical. I always just love the Christmas lights around Soho. I mean, how magical does this look? It's just absolutely incredible. I've never seen this before, but even Urban Outfitters has decorated inside their windows. It just adds to the magic of the Christmas lights. And of course, it doesn't get much more iconic than the Regent Street Angels. These are always my favorite Christmas lights. They just are so, so magical. They look absolutely amazing. From the ground, from the sky, I've seen so many people that have taken photos from like rooftop bars along Regent Street, and I just absolutely love them. They twinkle so beautifully. They are just my favorite lights, I think, in the entirety of London. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has been one of the most magical days I have had in London in such a long time. If you weren't feeling festive already, I hope this video really got you in the festive spirit because I for one am feeling so festive and so Christmassy and you know how much that just sets my heart on fire. I mean, it's just been such a lovely day discovering new products from brands that I absolutely adore, seeing all of the Christmas gifting, getting inspired for Christmas presents and finishing the day off with a bit of a festive light tour around Central. What could be better? I'm gonna go and head to Waterloo now to catch my train home. I'm meeting Alex at Waterloo and we have a bit of a train date. We literally call it our train date when we can like catch the same train home and we can just sit and chat and catch up on our day. Sometimes we even grab dinner as well and it just feels like it's one of those things that's like so mundane but you make it so special and I really really value days like that when we can catch the train together and have a lovely train date and just catch up on our days. It's my favourite thing in the world. So I'm going to head towards me now. I'm going to end this vlog here because I know the second I get home I'm going to be straight in the shower, straight in my PJs and probably straight to bed. I'm not going to lie to you so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it today as i said i will unbox all of the bits that i got today tomorrow for you guys for vlogmas day four because we have a lot to unbox and a lot to go through so if you haven't hit that subscribe button already make sure to hit it now because you are not going to want to miss seeing what we've got tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day four i hope you have the lovely evening bye i should have our time in october 2015. Let me go this evening and I will come with your training journey for the corner assistance, Mr. Axe. Can't look at it from the middle part of this tank of strike. Safety information is in all garages to keep up master items in the auto tanks. Let's see what it's going to be. 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 Let's see what it's going to be.